There you have it. The biggest day so far in the Jody Arias death penalty murder trial. She testifies about the day she kills Travis Alexander. But this photographic memory that we've heard about for seven days on the stand suddenly leaves her when she's talking about the details of killing Travis Alexander. The gun just goes off. She does not remember stabbing him, does not remember slitting his throat. What is a jury going to think of all of that when they've listened to every detail of her life practically for seven days. Now the moment of truth and they get little detail. And as we find out about her behavior after the killing, the memory is coming back. Want to bring in uh, our expert, attorney Jeff Gold. Jeff, your thoughts on this as we listen to her testimony. And again, we get very little about the actual killing. Well, in a word, disappointment. I'm going to tell you, those seven days on the stand was the defense stretching a rubber band, stretching a rubber band, stretching a rubber band, and I'm taken in by it. I'm being seduced by this girl, stretching a rubber band. Maybe they could make it all the way. Today, boom, disappointment. There is no member of this jury that doesn't feel taken in by such detail for seven days and nothing about the killing other than I shot him and that's all I can remember. Ridiculous. Yeah, you got to think a jury member is is upset, disappointed. Like, you know, all this buildup, this was the moment of truth. And that's what we get. <laughs> By the way, uh, we're going to play some of the larger portions of Jody Arias' uh, testimony, some of the things that we are talking about now. You're going to be able to hear that in just a couple of minutes. This gives Jeff and I a chance to kind of set the table for that as, as we talk about this. I mean, her demeanor, kind of what's expected. She's upset, uh, but she, you know, she's weak and she doesn't remember things. I just don't know if the jury's buying that Jeff your thoughts I gotta tell you it, it seems like a crock of baloney to me I mean detail before detail after and really nothing and the only explanation for why is because she can't explain it she can't put those facts together and make a credible story um, they're not even trying I mean I I, I speculated that the te that what we would hear would be five minutes on the killing after this but really when I actually got to it and sat there, and I've been listening to this, you know, trying to imagine myself as a juror, Absolutely. and you have got to, you have got to be disappointed because what you were saying is, she's so detailed, I really believe her, I'm starting to believe her, and just the opposite here, yeah. you think, you think you don't believe her, there. I was starting to think that after we got past the death penalty, she might even have a credible case Jeff, for second degree, I they're going to have to have one heck of, back on the table. one heck of an expert to explain this memory lapse, they're going to have to have one heck of an expert, we're going to take a quick break, you're going to hear Jody Arias firsthand coming up, keep it right here, you're watching it. Not, not much. Basically, uh, things are coming back now over time. And, and Jeff Gold's back with us, our attorney. Jeff, again, she's got this photographic memory. Even after the fact, she remembers the bottle of water from Costco in the trunk as she's fleeing, but she kills a man and doesn't remember a thing. Look, she doesn't remember stabbing him dragging him, almost decapitate him. What she says is that she shot him first, but the medical examiner's testimony, I believe, was that that couldn't have happened because the blood had been drained out. He'd been stabbed and decapitated and, and at the end, shot, and probably while he lay you know, at the bottom of the shower. It's not going to make any sense what she said. It's so lame that this jury is going to react, I think, violently against her. You know, and that... Let, let's even backtrack to motive here. Does it make sense that a drop camera would lead him to, as her, to take her words, flip out? You know, no. And, and as we've discussed, Mike, all along I gave her credit for giving up motive. All those seven days of testimony were things that you would say to yourself, you know, might make her mad at him, might make her hate him, might feel like you've used me, and now I have a motive to kill you. And at the same time, if you do all that, and then you don't give a credible explanation as to how it happened, I think the jury is going to say, okay, you already gave us the motive. We know very well why you killed him. Uh, and you did. And you did it on purpose. All right, coming up. And we talked a lot about it because sure, I'm sure the jury's thinking about what, where's the memory now? We'll let you listen as her attorney, Kirk Nurmi, asked her, do you remember stabbing? Do you remember anything else? And we'll let you listen to the answer. You can read her body language yourself. We're going to be also talking to someone who was inside the courtroom for this dramatic testimony. All that and more coming up. Keep it here.